Hey everybody, what's going on? It's Mr. Hino with Mr. Hino's LEGO Robotics. Today's video, wow, it, I'm quite shocked how long it took me to figure this out. Um, here's what I did though. I have these two robots doing a line following program. Um, I'm always thinking about, you know, warehouse robots or just robots that we see in videos where they're going back and forth and they have the ultrasonic sensor to make sure that they don't run into each other. So what I, what I was trying to figure out is how to program these robots so that if one is going faster than the other, or you know, I actually tried a figure eight at one point, but it got too hard to actually draw. So I just figured, well, what if I just use this oval that I always use and just made one robot faster than the other? Could I use the ultrasonic sensor to make sure that this robot didn't crash into the other one. So you can see that this robot here in the front is going a lot slower than this one here at the back. Here, let me actually pull it back a little bit. And in the program I actually have this going at 10% speed and this one's going at 30% speed. So eventually this guy will catch up to this robot here in the front. So what I wanted to do is figure out a program that would allow this robot here in the back, if it did catch up, it would actually stop. You see how it stopped momentarily? And then continue going um, when the ultrasonic sees that the first robot went out of range. So I'm going to show you this program. Um, it, it took me a while to build this and troubleshoot it and screwing up and finally figuring it out. So I actually have this set at 10 centimeters. So if it sees, and that's what I should probably do is go back and change this. If, it see, if this robot here sees this robot is less than 10 centimeters, it will stop. And what I did is I actually made it, uh, if it sees the robot going out of 10 centimeters range, it would continue. I actually should have bumped that up because you can see here it does a lot of stopping and starting because as soon as it hits that 10 centimeter range, it just, you know, it keeps going again. So let me just show this to you one more time. So again, eventually this robot will catch up to this other robot. And then when it sees it's less than 10 centimeters from it, it will stop. So you know what I should do is I'm going to go back into this program real quick and extend that distance and then I'll come back and show that to you again. Okay, so I, I went ahead and changed the program where I have this robot here waiting a little longer for actually the distance waiting uh, until this robot here is further out of range just so you would be able to see that there's actual stop. What was wrong with the initial program is I had it set at less than 10 centimeters and over 10 centimeters. So it was really hard for you guys to see that this robot, maybe you guys were seeing it, was actually stopping. And this one here, you can actually see he's stopping a little longer. Waiting for this robot here in the front to get out of that ultrasonic range. So this robot here in the back is kind of like Mr. Hino on the freeway. I'm like, come on, guys, really? Come on. Just kidding. Um, anyway, so that's that's the, the, the program basically that I figured out. Um, I will go ahead and go to my computer and show you that program, but I just wanted to initially show you this again so you're able to see everything that's going on. Okay, guys, off to my laptop. Okay, everybody, I am on my Lego Mindstorm software here. Uh, I'm going to be flipping back and forth uh, between projects because there's just no way I'm going to remember everything I did, okay? Um, so I'm going to come here to my orange tabs. Um, basically, my aha moment was putting a loop inside of a loop. Because uh, what I was trying to do is I was trying to get the robot to continue following the line after it's uh, sensed that the robot in front of it had moved away. And that's when it kind of hit me. Ah, that's what I got to do. Okay, so now I'm going to go ahead and put a switch inside of here. I'm going to go color sensor and that reflected light intensity. 
I dropped it down to 25. Are you guys still with me? Okay. All right. I'm now going to put my move tank up here. I'm just going to turn it on. Now, this is going to be for that second robot. Um, so I believe I might have put it at 40. You know, it's up to you to kind of mess with the numbers there. And then I'm just going to do this in reverse. And this is what's going to give me kind of that forwards and then backwards type spin. That's what this is going to do right there. You guys can mess with that and do with that what you want. Okay, let me now flip back and see what I did. Okay, ah. Okay, so now I'm going to put that ultrasonic sensor on at the end. So here we go. I'm going to come right here. And I'm going to go to the ultrasonic sensor, which is there. You guys can do whatever you want, centimeters, inches. Uh, but that was what I did for 10 centimeters right there. So I, I kept that at, um, this is going to line follow. If it sees anything 10 centimeters or closer, or less than 10 centimeters, um, I had a stop on it. So we'll come over here, put that there, and then just turn that off. Okay, now let me see back what I did here. Okay, so now is where we bust out another switch. So here we go. We're coming here and we're going to put that switch right there. And we're going to do the same thing. Color sensor, um, reflected light. There's that again. And then let's go back up here and do the same thing we did before. Negative 10 and 40. And this is going to be again. 40, negative 10. Okay. All right, let me go back and now see if that's all perfect now. Does that look good to you guys? Um, that switch is right there. Yeah, looks good. Let me kind of just drop this down here. And then, like this last one here, we got to make sure that one, this one stays looped right there. Okay, so I'm pretty sure that is the same program. Let me just double check it one more time. You guys can tell me if everything looks the same. Okay, four, three. Ah, something is missing. Yeah, have you noticed uh, this right there, that weight block? That's what I missed. Okay, so that weight block is going to be so that the um, basic, the robot can wait until it sees something leave its range. So that's going to be right. Oops, uh, I need my sensor block. Okay, and I'm going to put it right there. And that's one we are going to, uh, let's see, did I have that like that? No, it's compare distance. In, oh, okay. And I never changed that to, okay. So yeah, compare. Oh, oh well, I'll just try to keep it all the same. Um, oh, okay, my bad. That's not an ultrasonic sensor. That's a weight block. You guys probably knew that, huh? And you just didn't tell me. Compare distance, and you know, we can keep that centimeters there. Now, we want to um, come here and change this to greater than, and then you can set whatever that's going to be. So, the reason why this is going to be greater than is you're waiting for that robot that front robot to now get past that second one okay so now this is the program we want and now you can we'll go back here and double check this yeah that looks good now okay so 
this is now the program that's going to run what you saw in the beginning of this video and I'll go back to the table right now and show that to you again. So if you need to, yeah, just pause this screen and it'll help you to uh, program your own robot. Okay, let's go back to the board. Okay, guys, so hopefully that was, um, I don't know, maybe you can figure out a different way. But again, my whole purpose and goal was to have both of these robots be able to follow this line and basically not crash into each other. So, yeah, and I guess... You know, this program works pretty good. Um, this robot will never crash into this one. And hopefully you enjoyed that program, guys. Okay, hopefully you're still having a great summer. I am Mr. Hino from Mr. Hino's LEGO Robotics. I am out.